Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to create calendars on Go High Level that look like this, where you can split up the different times for different prices and also different practitioners. Now I've done it for physio and massage as an example, but you can do this for any services that you want. For example, you can do this for real estate, for dental, for chiropractors, for beauties, for haircuts. You think of it, you name it, you can do it. And it's actually really easy. Go High Level recently rolled this feature out and it is absolutely amazing. Now, if you don't know who I am already, my name is Jackie. I'm just someone that managed to make money online over the last year and have succeeded. And a large part of that is due to Go High Level because it has improved my sales in my SMMA agency by folds. Now I'm making around 10K a month. Now, of course, I am one of the top affiliates for Go High Level and I have a 30 day free trial link if you don't have it already. Along to that link, I have a free course which teaches you step by step on how to set up a SaaS company. On top of that, one of my most valuable assets that I have right now is my time. And I offer that to all of my students for one-on-one -on -one mentorship calls so that I can help you get started as a beginner on this online business thing so that you can start making money and helping your family and reach your goals. So if you want any of that, just click on the links below and sign up or let me know if you have any questions. But let's keep going. So in order to create this calendar, it's actually really easy. So let's go into our calendars and go high level. And I'm gonna show you that when you create calendar, you should see this service calendar. If you don't, that means you probably haven't turned this function on. Now, if you don't haven't done that already, pause this video now and go into the description or the comments below this video where I show you how to turn this on in just two minutes. It's super easy. Go do that first and come back to this video. But if you have already done that, let's keep going. So as you can see in my groups, I have already created a service calendar for physio and mass massage, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna just show you how to add and create an extra tab here. And you can essentially do the same thing for every single one. Now, what I wanna do here is I wanna go into calendars and I wanna go create a calendar. Then I'm gonna go select and I'm gonna start naming my calendar. So for this one, I'm gonna put something random. So let's say a dental teeth clean, okay? And I want to put it as 40, actually normally it's like 30 minutes. And I say it's for 150. I'm going to select myself as a staff member. Now you'll see I'm only here for myself. This is all the users that's in your sub account. So if you want to add staff members, you have to add them as a user first. Then for the widgets, teeth clean. Let's do something else. Dental. Perfect. 30 minutes matches that with that. And you can also do a set payments on or off. Some of you might also not have this. That's because you need to connect your Stripe or any payment processes on your sub account in order for this to show up. I'm gonna turn this off for now. Then we're gonna go advanced settings. And here you can put, see a little bit more detail. You can put in your logos, you can put in your availabilities of you know, when you want a minimum scheduling notice. So it means, you know, I don't want someone to book in a day before. You can customize that. You have forms and payments people can fill out notifications in here of who gets the notifications, if it's contact, if it's staff, you know, you can do additional customizations. We're gonna come back to this later to show you what changes what, but what I wanna show you is the rooms and equipment. Now, because I have already added some rooms and equipment, I can simply just go in here and select. Let's say for this dental booking, I want them to be in only room two. So I put room two and then I click, let's say, I don't know, no dental is probably gonna need this, but I'm gonna put an ultrasound in there. Right, so then when I click save, that makes sure that in the room two, no one gets double booked. So I can essentially have a dental clean appointment and a physio massage appointment, both in room two. But if people book in, let's say a physio appointment at one o'clock, then that means they won't be able to book a dental teeth clean in the same room at one o'clock. So this just makes sure there's no, no overlapping collapse so that people don't fight for the room and double book. Now I'm gonna click save, perfect. Once that's saved, all I have to go is go press these three buttons and then move to group. And you can see I have physio massage, click select. And that's it. To make new groups is actually really easy. All you have to do is go create group, type in the name, group description, and then URL and create. And it'll pop up something like this. <coughs> so now let's go back and we're gonna refresh this page. And voila, you can see that there's a dental teeth clean, but there is no images in there because we didn't put that in. So we're gonna go in and change the images and I'm gonna show you exactly what images changes what. So we're gonna go back to the calendars, and go find our dental teeth clean, and then click edit. Now there is two places where you can upload images. 
under service detail and under customization. So it's under the customization, this image here is gonna pop up on the front page of this main service menu. But when you click in and then click into the user, it's in the service details where you put in the logo. So this is gonna show up in here. So I'm gonna give you an example. So let's do this logo first. So I'm gonna go Google and grab dental clean. Go images. Uh, this kind of looks ugly. So I want to put den dentist. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So I'll just select the random one. Let's pick this one. All right, I'm going to save image as. And then dental. Okay, just click save. Once I've got that saved, I'm going to go back to my calendar and simply just drag up. There we go. And we click save. So once that's saved, we go back into our calendar, refresh that page, and then go into our dentist. And you can see, there we go. There's our little logo. Now let's go back. Oh, let's, I'm going to move my head up across and let's go back and we want to change this main page here so we're just going to do the same image go customizations and just drag this up done click save and once that's saved we can go in and double check refresh there we go it's that easy there's our images it looks pretty nice and it's very easy to do now, the last thing that I want to show you guys is the service menu rooms and equipment. Now, the service menu is simply just a menu where people see this and you can go in and customize what drop downs that you want. You know, you go edit and you change the names, etc. OK, you don't. And then you can go here, select your services. And this is where you're going to select your calendars in here. Okay? You can also arrange the services to see if you want to go up and down. Now that's not really too important, but what is important is the rooms and equipment. And not before you do your calendars, you should already put and create your rooms and equipments so that when you create your calendars, you can directly select them as I have done before. And how you do that super easy, just go create room, put a name, let's go test, description, you know, you can put like a capacity and then select which calendar you want to put it in. I'm not going to save it. I'm just going to show you how that works. And here you can also see, see room two, I have my dental clean and physiotherapy follow-up consultation. You can also choose in the rooms where you can add in what calendars that you want. Let's say if I want the gym room, I can add in all these calendars in there, but I don't want to do that. And it's the same thing for equipments where you can go create an equipment, put in a name, description, how many of that equipment you have. If there is any out of service equipment, but it can't be more. So let's put two and then you can again, put as many calendars or as little calendars as you wish. Okay. So that's a basic gist of how to create calendars. It's actually really easy, but it can get confusing for a lot of beginners. I hope this video has helped you to help break down these calendar settings because they are actually so powerful and they're really good to use for businesses of local services, such as physiotherapists, such as dentals. So many businesses will need this type of calendar and you can provide that for them. And they'll be more than happy to pay you $50, $100 a month to maintain a calendar like this with a few automations to make their business flow much easier. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. God bless.